All right, boys, we're back. I know I took a day off from making videos, but I had a horrible day. We lost in overtime and then GM mode commentaries to Chicago to become the Buffalo Bills of the NHL. Third year in a row we made it back to the final, but now this is the second year in a row we've lost in the final. My EASHL club team lost in the finals in overtime as well. I mean, it's just been a bad few days for NHL 12. But we're going to get back into it now. We'll do a whole season wrap-up here. Oh, my God. It was a good season. But this, again, I don't believe it. Stanley Cup Finals. Oh, my God. So, let's simulate up to the trade deadline or the uh, draft here. And then we'll go through all the awards, all the stats. See who won the, uh, I guess we know who won the Stanley Cup, Chicago Blackhawks. But see who won all the other awards. Oh, man. You know what? It was a good season again. I, I don't know if I want to change the team up too much, but... Ah, oh, there it is, the Stanley Cup champion, Chicago Blackhawks. And also, I was reading your comments, and I actually noticed it myself as well, but they updated all the rosters. It looks like they made all the All-Stars a lot better. People who went to the All-Star game, like uh, Carlson, is a lot better now. Joffrey Lupul's an 87, and Phil Kessel's a 90. All right? I mean, imagine I started the GMO commentaries with that. Jesus, they would have been a, whole, a hell of a lot better. I have, and Kessel would be getting like 30, 40 goals easily. If Joffrey Lupul, I wouldn't have traded him. Or let him go to free agency, so goddamn. So on Toronto, Thomas Coberley retires as a Toronto Maple Leaf. That's a good thing. We wanted him for that, but he couldn't win a Stanley Cup with us. Uh, I would have given him a ring. For sure, I would have given him a ring. Oh, my God. Disappointing year. All right, so we're about to go into the draft here. Let's go through all the stats, all the awards. So a season wrap-up in this video. Then we'll check the contract situation. So there you go. Chicago Blackhawks, your 2014-2015 Stanley Cup champions. So far in this GM mode, it's been a different team every year. Winnipeg the first year, Toronto, St. Louis, and now Chicago. Oh, uh, my God. Whoops, went to AHL. There we go. President's Trophy, Buffalo Sabres, yeah. Uh, Clarence, Chicago Blackhawks. Prince of Wales, that's us. They're, that's our trophy right there. So that's not bad, I guess. Three times in a row, Eastern Conference champions. Art Ross, Alexander Ovechkin, Hart Memorial, Ilya Kovalchuk, James Norris, Tyler Myers, Lady Bing, Marion Gabrick, Calder Memorial, Hunter, Hunter Shinkurak. That's a guy I edited as well. Uh, Con Smythe, Corey Crawford, Vesna, Ryan Miller, William N. Jennings, Ryan Miller, Bill Masterton, Francois Boschman, Frank J. Selke. Wow, it wasn't Pavel Dotsuk. Sidney Crosby steals it from him. <laughs> uh, Ted Lindsay, Ryan Miller, Maurice Richard, Alexander Ovechkin, and there you go. There's your awards. The typical awards. All the good guys that Crosby and Ovechkin dominated. And Miller. Um, playoff tree we don't need to look at. We already looked at that. Let's take a look at our playoffs, uh, our stats of the playoffs, see who did good. I'm not really that angry about this playoff run. I mean, the last year we got swept in five games by St. Louis. This year we were one goal away from being the, the Stanley Cup champions. We were in overtime in Game 7. Yeah, Marion Hosa scored a minute in, but we were in overtime in Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Finals. So, I mean, we were up there. Claude Giroux, 21 points in 25 games. Getzlaff, 20 points in 25 games. Kessel, 15 points in 25 games. I think he would have more assists if he was on that first line. But that's all right, whatever. Andrew Ladd, 13 points in 25 games. That's great for a third liner. Kuhlman, yeah, Kuhlman did not have a good playoff run. Him on the first line, I don't know. It's just not getting it done. He should have more assists, but whatever. Wayne Simmons on the third line had just as many points, so that's what I mean. Kadri on the second line, 12 Jordan Stahl in the third line, 11. Manny Malhotra with 11. So, yeah, there's a lot of people who did not. Like, Andrew Ladd and Malhotra played great, but then Jordan Stahl, Kessel even, and Kuhlman, they didn't have the greatest uh, didn't have the greatest playoff runs. Colburn, all these guys. Yeah, let's check out our goaltender situation. See what Jim Reimer did. And, yes, boys, I know his name is friggin' James Reimer. Have you ever heard of short names? The short name for James is Jim, hence Jim Reimer. All right? So there you go. End of story. Cody Franz and uh, Mark Stahl, Jake Gardner, Dion Phaneuf only had five points in 25 games. He's usually a .5 per game, uh, .5 points per game kind of guy, so I'm expecting him to be up around 10, 11, 12, so he didn't have the greatest playoff run either. That's all right. But then goaltenders, 2.34 goals against, and a save percentage of 9.18. Not the greatest, but it wasn't his problem. He got us to game seven in overtime. He got us there. We're keeping Jim Reimer, all right? We're keeping Jim Reimer. He's had a, a bunch of deep playoff runs. He's going to be good to go. So, we checked all that. Let's go into the scouting report. See if there's, I don't think I have a, I don't have a draft pick for this year. This is our last year. So it doesn't even matter. But let's just see who's going first. Scouting report. 
Okay, so Gunderson. Par Gunderson. Uh, Tyler Bertuzzi. Looks like there's a goalie going in the top five as well. Yeah. So there's no uh, franchise players. If there's a franchise player, I, I might move for him. But there's no franchise player. Par Gunderson. He looks like he's going number one. So let's check out our contract situation. If we can keep the same team going into free agency, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. We had a good year. I know we lost, but we still had a good year. I could keep the same team out there and make it back to the finals next year. That's fine. Uh, let's see how much. All skaters. Do I have Jim Reimer? Yeah, I got Jim Reimer. Yeah, okay. So Jim Reimer is an 87, boys. He hasn't got much better. Looks like he's peaking around the 87, 88 mark. But look at his offensive cat, like not offensive, but the first category with angles, breakaway, five hole, glove, stick, all that stuff. That's the the heaviest weighted category. If all those get up to the mid 90s, you see his overall creep up. And look at them; they're all around 88s, 89s. That's why his overall is 87. I mean, he's only 26, 27. I mean, he will slowly get to a 90 overall, very slowly. But by the time he's like. Uh, What's up? How old is he? 27. Yeah, I'd need another three or four years to get him up to a 90. So, he'll get there. He's he's an above average goalie. But yeah, he's not a superstar. I agree. I agree. Uh, but we don't need to sign him, so that's good. Let's go to skaters here. Uh, we have, we're going to have 9.9 .9 million to sign people. And who do we have to sign? Oh, it looks like we have everybody. Yeah, we don't have a single person we have to sign. Oh, wait, no, no, this is for this year. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, it's this year. We have 22 million. We have Yeah, sorry. Yeah, because we haven't passed the, the trade deadline date yet. My bad. Uh, so we have to sign. Here we go. Manny Malhotra, who didn't retire. Might want him back. Travis Moen. Uh, Colby Armstrong. All right, got to sign those guys. Mark Stahl, we have to sign. He's going to want a bit of a bump. Keith Olley's going to want a bit of a bump. He was making his minor league contract. Uh, who else? Okay, so that's that's all we have to sign. That's doable. We can easily sign that with $22 million. Ollie, Stahl, Armstrong, Moen, Malhotra. All right, so for contracts, we're fine this year. Thank God. Yeah, we are fine this year for contracts. Yeah, we're fine. All right, so we're going to go into the draft here, boys. Uh, I don't think I'm going to make any trades here because... No, I don't need you to do the trading block. I'm not going to make any trades. I have my prospects. I don't have any draft picks. As you see, the first round, Edmonton has the first round pick again. Holy crap, these guys. Uh, we'll just see what Washington is saying here. James Reimer for Brooks Like. No. Need James Reimer. So we're just going to, I'll show you guys quickly. For this draft, I don't think I have it. Yeah, I, my closest draft is a bunch of fifths. I have four fifth round picks, two sixth, and two sevenths. All right? So I got nothing there, and I got nothing for next year. The two years, the two last years. And there's our timer. Yeah, remember, for this year, I traded. Uh, my first round pick that I got for Brad Richards, I used on Andrew Ladd. So I got no first round and no first round for next year. But that's fine. That's fine. We have a bunch of prospects. So for this draft, we're not going to do a lot of, uh, we're, well, we're not part of the draft pretty much till the third round. So I'm just going to simulate the whole draft, all right? Auto draft. Our timer's going off. So I'll let you guys look at the roster as it is before I do any uh, re-signing. It shouldn't be a problem re-signing these guys. Uh, quickly do the... GM tracker, see if there's anything. Yeah, I have this. Oh, I can update this one more time. Thank God. All right, that's good. I can update that one more time. Give these guys a little a bit of a boost going into the resign stage. Here we go. Let's simulate. So I'll look at the. Um, what can we do in this video still? You know what we'll do this in this video? I'll resign those guys that I wanted to resign, and then we'll quickly take a look at the free agent. I'll let you guys see who's available, who we should maybe sign. All right, we'll do that in this video. So hang on, resign. To make sure we just get everyone here. Okay, so 16 million to sign these guys. Shouldn't be a problem. I'm going to release the guys that I don't want to see potentials. Sign a bunch of uh, prospects in the uh, free agency. Ross, no, I don't need these guys. Kuhn, no, I don't need you. Okay, Ollie, we're going to need you. How many years do you want? One year at 2.8. Uh, let's see if we can get them for three years at 2.75. There you go. Uh, Mark Stahl, this guy, very important. We need to get this guy back. He wants 5.8. He wants a lot now. All right, we're going to try and get you five years. This is our first defenseman who wants a lot. I think we had everyone else to a bit of a bargain back there. Mark Stahl is going to want a lot. Uh, there you go. Armstrong, Moen, Malhotra. I want Armstrong and Moen back. Malhotra I might leave because he's got D potentials and he might get worse. Are you kidding me? 
So 2.4 for Colby Armstrong. Travis Mullen. Uh, yeah, he only wants 2 million. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, one year at 8.5. Uh, he, he might not. Yeah, 8.5. Yeah, we'll do that. There you go. And then Malhotra. Let's see how good man he is, guys. Is he getting all right? He's getting worse. D for potentials everywhere. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna send him to free agent and maybe pick him up again if there's no one better. But I'll, I'll test the fourth line grinder situation in free agency. So we'll release Manny right there. There you go. Simulated day. Come on. There you go. Mark Stahl, Keith Ollie, Travis Moen, and Colby Armstrong all back on our team. We have over $7 million going into free agency, so that's good. We can sign one big fish if he comes up. Uh, let me just sign the rookies here, Clearmont. There you go. Uh, Sund Sundukov. Jesus. Uh, there you go. Two-way contract for you guys, the B-minus potentials. And then if we go to goaltenders, the one guy, or oh, two guys we got to sign, Sean Roloff. This guy's a young prospect. That's good. And then we'll sign this Naslin guy who still has a B minus. He's almost at an 80. Uh, he, he wants it one way. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. One way, it's 6.40. That's fine. All right, so we'll simulate again. I think that should be everybody. Easy decision. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so everybody's back on our team, boys. No problem re-signing the whole core here. It was no problem. All right. Oh, there's one more guy to sign. Furland. B minus potential. There you go. All right. So, yeah, we got everybody back. So, now that we have everyone re-signed, all right, I'll let you quickly look at the free agency so you guys can comment, and uh, I'll look at them for the next video. Here we go. Come on, simulate. We have 44 players under contract, so we can sign a few rookies as well. Here we go. We're going to free agents. And here's the list, boys, of unrestricted free agents. He got, there you go, there's the couple defensemen, Jerome Aginla, 38, but he's 85 overall. Maybe I can help him win a cup in a last year. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, potential, there's this guy who's got B potential, that's pretty good. Uh, there you go again, just I'll let you guys go down the list here. You guys can pause it to look. Uh, there you go, remember the fourth line grinder position. And then we'll go to goalies, and there we go. So it looks like James Reimer is still our best shot. That's fine, because I'm going to give him another shot. And then potential goalies right there. All right, boys, so there's the list. You guys have seen the list. Let me know what your opinions are, and uh, I'll sign them for the next video. All right? Take it easy, boys.